I'm gonna explain the difference between a Fox 36 and a Marzocchi Z1. These forks are very, very similar. You can get the Marzocchi in either air or coil. For this sake of the video, this one is a coil. The Fox 36 only comes in air, but you can convert it later down the line. The cheaper Fox forks come with this damper. It's called the grip damper. The Marzocchis only come with the grip damper. You can upgrade the damper on both forks down the line. Visually speaking, they're very similar, except for the logos. The Marzocchi has an M on the arch. I measured them. They're just about the same thickness. The Fox crown is a little bit wider around the base right here, as where the Marzocchi is a little bit thinner. The weight penalty for the coil is about eight ounces heavier than the air fork. That's because there's a huge metal spring in here and no air chambers. How do these two forks ride on the trail? Well, the Fox 36 Air or the Marzocchi Air, it's gonna jump better because it's more predictable when you're going off steep lips. If you're a wheels on the ground rider, have some hand injuries, elbow injuries, or want a softer ride, the coil's a really good choice. I absolutely love the Marzocchi coil in rough terrain as long as my wheels are on the ground. It's not quite as predictable when you're jumping because its nature is just real buttery. The Fox 36 can go up to 180 millimeters of travel. It's kind of pushing the outer limits because the fork starts to get kind of flexy when you go to 180. I've personally rode it with 180 without any problems. The Marzocchi can go to 180, but only in the 27.5 version. This is a 29 and it's maxed out at 170 per Fox. Materials aside, and besides the M, they're almost identical. They're 180 millimeter rotor direct mount. So you need a 20 millimeter adapter to run 200 millimeter rotors. These forks aren't particularly good with 220 mil rotors because you got to run a plus 40 adapter and then you start getting that flex. Okie's five pounds to eight ounces and this one's just about five pounds depending on how many spacers and stuff you're going to use. So weight's really not the issue talking about eight ounces here. So both forks have the same suspension damper. The damper is the thing that controls the oil flow and will dictate how the bike rides. But understanding the relationship between the air spring to the damper and the coil spring to the damper, these forks are very, very different. Wheels on the ground rider, go coil. Doing airs, go for the air. If you have some kind of injury with your elbow or hands or just want a softer ride, definitely consider the Marzocchi coil fork. It's also very easy to set up. And when you clap this fork out, like hit the bottom, it's much more smooth because you got a spring in there. The air fork, when you slam that into the bottom, it's a lot more harsh. The Fox 36 and the Marzocchi, they're my favorite forks. The 38s can be a little bit harsh, but if you ride really, really hard, I would go for the 38, but the 36 is just an amazing fork because it's more plush with the thinner stanchions. Don't think flex is the enemy. You just want the right amount of flex for your riding.